boys and girls, Miss Morgan here. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial to show you how you can record your data for your mile a day mission in an Excel spreadsheet and how you can use that spreadsheet to work out your average time that it's taken you um, to complete your mile a day. OK, so the mission that I'm talking about here is this one, mile a day. It says, can you complete the mile a day challenge in your local area? Time how long it takes you each day and see if you get faster. So what you should be doing is every day you should be getting outside, going for a walk, a run, a skip, um, you know, a bike ride. Go for a mile and time yourself to see how long it takes you. OK, um, so I'm just going to show you how I've been recording that data. First thing you need to do is you need to sign into your Hub account. OK, so once you've signed in, scroll down. Office 365, give that a click. When you get to Office 365, you're looking at this green Excel um, button here, give that a click. And then you wanna start a new blank workbook. Now, the first thing you do when you start your new blank workbook is you wanna rename it, okay? So can you see up here, it says book three saved. Click that and I'm gonna rename mine mile a uh, day. Each time it says saved, that means that your work is automatically saved. OK, so you don't have to um, go into file and save it separately. It'll save automatically for you and you've already named it. So um, it's going to be a really simple spreadsheet. My first column is just going to be the date and my second column is going to be the time it took me. OK, I'm going to start with the 18th of January because that's the first time I recorded how long the mile took me. So I'm going to put in 18.01.21. And the time it took me was 12 minutes and 34 seconds. And I'm going to do that for all my data now. OK, so the 19th. It took me 11 minutes and 56 seconds. So I got a little bit quicker. 20th. Twelve minutes again, but this time four seconds. Must have been aching that day. Um, 21st. It took me 11 minutes and 21 seconds. 22nd. And you do this for all the dates that you're recording. I was quick on the 20 seconds, look. 10 minutes and 42 seconds. 23rd. It took me 11 minutes and 16 seconds. And then the 24th. It took me 10 minutes and 29 seconds okay simple so i put my data in now i want to work out for that week from the 18th to the 23rd 24th the average time that it took me okay the average time it took me so the way i do that is i click in the box below which is where i want my average to be and i press equals when I press equals, I start to type in the word average. So A, V, E, R. And then can you see it's come up as a, as a suggestion for me? Double click. And then you need to highlight um, the numbers that you want to find the average for. So I want to find the average from 12 minutes and 34 and all of these numbers going down to 10 minutes 29. So I click on the first one and then I drag, okay? So make sure you hold your finger down, drag to the bottom, close the bracket and press enter. So my average time for that week was 11 minutes and 28 seconds. What I can do then is I can go underneath and I can do the same thing again for a new week. Okay, so really simple, really straightforward. It's just an effective way um, of working out your average and finding out if you're getting any quicker with your mile a day. So good luck. Let us know how you get on. Um, and I wonder if you are any quicker than me in running a mile.